I'm going to mispronounce the name of this citadel in Romania. Citatia Rupi. Just down the road is a village where I visited a traditional Romanian farmer's market. The locals here. This is a interesting city. There's a huge castle. Citadel way up there. In the mountain valleys north of Brasov, much of the traditional ways of life remain. To include transportation by horse cart. Horse-drawn carts are allowed on Romanian roads, are registered, and even have license plates. And it's not unusual to see domesticated herds of animals escorted through the streets of small villages to the pasture lands. And all domesticated animals and their riders have the right of way on Romanian roads. A wall of sheep. There's the farmer's market, uh, that's south of Targa Tar is. Looks like for uh, wagons. Oh, and here's one of these wagons. It's just basically uh, a cart with, with <laughs> wheels. <laughs> that's about. This market provides essential trade for citizens, farmers, ranchers, and those who can't afford cars to buy, trade, and sell tack, gear, and animals to support their livelihoods. The young ones here. To Thanks for the next pullers, like pregnant, and pigs. The traditions are as old as the country and live on to this very day. Got to get this horse neck wagon there, not so easy. It's just too steep. Makes the idea of it, man. I was impressed by this older woman's handling of her horse and cart. These are traditions handed down through generations. From the wise to the young, generations learn how to live outside the digital age. Tight, the calf's getting tied up. Taking away. Different breeds of cattle are bought, sold, and traded here as well. including domesticated hogs, sows, and piglets. Being in the European Union, certain ethical codes are required in the handling of animals. Most of the animals looked in good condition, except for this one pig with scrapes on him. But this is a market for traders and sellers. An unfit animal won't sell. Oh, piglets. I hear pigs. Hi, chat, Borgi is fine. I don't have a bean some of the animals were restrained for their own protection. Here's a small sample of the tack and gear they sell. It's here in your carriage. There's some of the dogs there, bowl. Bells. And uh, harnesses. An entire documentary could be done on the sheep herding and the sheffolds in Romania. They go back as far as the country's history. There are several historical breeds of sheepdogs in Romania. These are the only two sheepdogs I saw for sale. Puppies! <laughs> Aren't they cute? I got a picture of them. Yeah. Cat dogs. Romania has a rich cultural history. I hope you gained something out of this small glimpse of cultural history of a traditional Romanian life. It has value because it teaches us survival techniques outside of industrial modernization, but also because it's part of our human heritage. Much of it is lost due to modernization. I found both the modern and traditional peoples of Romania warm and welcoming, as well as the beautiful scenery. I would not mind going back.